Good morning, everybody. It is going to be another great day here at the Bill. Another great day. See more progress. It's a beautiful day out again today. Man, just beautiful skies. It's kind of started getting a little normal the way that it should have been for the past couple months. Getting those afternoon, those evening rains or showers we got one yesterday and it was so nice man drop the temperature down the plants are doing good off of it everywhere that rainwater makes a big big difference well uh we're gonna get started today on working on more stuff inside the house as far as pulling more electrical with mop mop june being my helpers and getting circuits all pulled everywhere and getting them tied up um i've got some of the crew working on the staircase there of doing a little finishing and chipping and getting it all cleaned up and ground um, up on top up there there's some places that haven't been finished up on the top floor and that need uh, grinding and skim coating and all on that small room at the top so i'm wanting to get that taken care of um, i'm hoping maybe with cap we might be able to mix up and spray a little bit of texture and give it a shot like in the closet first a little testing area maybe on an old sheet of plywood first and do a little small batch and see how this skim coat is going to react versus to uh, like the drywall mud back in the u.s so we got that going on and i'm sure many other little tasks that i'll put them on all throughout the day so starting out let me show you the first one right here and so the first task, good morning, Mel. She got up early, early, went jogging. First task I'm gonna put them on is, they're setting up here for it now, is we are going to stone this end right here on this front beam. We're gonna fill that with that black stone. And I'm excited to see how that's gonna turn out. I need to talk to them here how they're gonna make the corner and discuss that with them. And then I want to see about how much more that I'm going to need to finish this on out. Also up there, very high up in that top underneath there. I'm wanting to get that primered and painted. And I'll probably put somebody on that as well. A primering and painting that. Uh, I think that's going to be another task that I want to try to get done today. And probably the same thing over here on this side too. Primer and paint those underneath right there at top and i've got a little bit of flexi seal that i'm needing to put on some canopy roofs as well if they get dried out later this afternoon with them trying to show them how to do this we're working on finding a center mark right now it's one 137 so what i've got them doing is uh being that there's this radius here and we want to keep our spacing perfect and all that is that we made a level mark straight off out to the end here straight on the end there and we're gonna do that that full part first and then I measured from that it's gonna take six pieces of the width of that coming down from that level mark down six pieces coming down and we'll backfill that down around that radius right there work backwards on it and fill those gaps told them to leave the corner pieces off of where they're gonna intersect and when we come around and do the side work up, we'll work the corners and the side at the same time. Man, I thought that would look good there. It does look good, doesn't it? Just to keep it adjusted down, yeah. If you find any smaller ones, put it down here. Yeah, just make sure it comes out right. Because it's right on the front of my house. <laughs> well, I was standing here working on getting things lined up with the guys, and uh, a lady showed up here, and visiting with her in the street and she is a colonel in the PMP. She's actually the person that vouched and helped my my brother-in-law Manuel uh, get into the PMP. 
and she's down from Manila right now and uh, took a vacation down here and she come over and visit us and I really enjoyed visiting her just then. What a nice lady. And she's hoping to buy a lot in here. So she's searching for a property in here right now. Man, well, I would really like to have her as a neighbor. Really nice woman. And we really appreciate her and the family too for what she did for my brother-in-law. Meanwhile, while I was talking to her, the guys have been here working on this stone. Boy, that is just gonna look beautiful right here on the front. So y'all tell me what you think about it. Tell me what you think about it. I like it personally. Guess that's what matters. So I'm here at Western Lamp down in Iloilo. They have another branch over closer to us, but it's uh, not as big as this branch right here. But this is where I knew to go to to get the breaker panel and all the stuff I need for the electrical for the house. These little small stores and like City Hardware, Wilcon, they don't have the amount of breakers in the top that I need or the quality. But these right here are really good. Nice commercial grade quality like I'm used to there in the US. And I want something really good there. I mean, electrical is pretty important to keep safe in your home. So uh, they didn't have the ground bar in here, but they sell them separate. So he's got me the, the ground bars there too, and he's pricing it all for me right now. Uh, so we're gonna go with a 150 amp, uh, and then we're gonna divide all the individual circuits and breakers up to the sizes I listed, I gave him that I need and uh, hopefully we can get everything here and get back there and finish wiring up that house. <laughs> uh, so we're down here in the old city proper part of Iloilo and I went to Western Lamp. They have the good heavy duty breaker panels like I want. Um, very happy for that and good heavy quality not like that stuff you find on lazada i know that brand real thin flimsy case the knockouts aren't very good on it uh real poor looking bus bar and stuff in it this is real good quality i mean this is like good top-notch commercial grade and um they're pulling that for me right now as i say it in there i'll show you later after i pick it up and when i'm installing it it's it's got the the ground bars for the earth ground which is not real common here um, and that's why people always get shocked and say ground it but it's also a budget thing a lot of people don't want to spend the money to pull the additional wire and all that and it's cheaper just to run two wires instead of three but I do want the grounds everywhere um, I do want the outlets with grounds everywhere and that's what keeps people from getting shocked so easy you know those wet rainy days and all that stuff and you touch something or it's trying to feed back because it needs an earth ground and uh, I'm gonna put it in proper uh, from the same company their other branch our last trip here I bought the good long ground bar to driving the ground to the ground rod driving the ground as well and the nut and all for that so uh, I will be trying to get all this done properly got some clowns in the back seat back here behind me there's clown number one and here's clown number two hey clowns 
pretty clowns. <laughs> like, what is going on back here with these kids? What is going on? So um, I'm happy to get up here to the city and get that. That's something I really been wanting to do. Melinda right now is in a place called uh, Narita and she's grabbing some stuff in there for us as well. And then I'm going to head on to the next stop and get some things that we need for the house. So I wanted to share right here on my receipt from Western Lamp and Electrical Supply right here in Iloilo. Uh, the cost of things that I bought, so I bought that good heavy duty breaker box right there. It's called Bolt-On Breakers. And that box was 11,000 pesos. So that'd be like 220 US dollars. Now that's a good quality box. And then um, 150 amp breaker and then um, oh, and I want to tell that back there again and that's called an 18 branch that would be 18 breakers inside of it and for you the West don't know each one of them breakers is very large here in the Philippines uh, each breaker looks about like a 220 breaker does in the US um, then as I say going down then we got the uh, the main, the 150 amp breaker itself. That's 4930. Uh, that's 4930 pesos, almost 100 bucks. Um, then we've got four 20 amp breakers that I bought. And they were 780 each, so that's 3120. And then I bought 14 15 amp breakers. And that's 10,920. So you're talking about uh, about $220 almost again, you know, right there for those breakers. And then I bought two of what they call the grounding bars or whatever in there. Uh, I guess they're 10 terminals each. And it looks like those came out to about 900 pesos, almost 20 bucks. And then while I was there, I also picked up some more wire. I bought two boxes of THHN, two millimeter, about 14 gauge. And those were, um, I think, I can't really make out what he's got right there. I think it's 27.95, yeah, almost, almost 2,800 pesos each on those boxes. So the two boxes of wire came out about 110, 111, 12 dollars, something like that. So the total on all of it with their taxes and everything was 36,520 pesos. And this is really great to pick this up. This is a major item in the house. And um, I know you can get breaker boxes and breakers and all that a whole lot cheaper in the US. And if you're building a really small, simple home here, there's little breaker boxes you can buy everywhere that's pretty cheap. But to get something of good quality, heavy duty, and the handle the amount of circuits that I'm branching out all over the place there and the fact that I want something that has a ground bar in it um, I'm happy with getting this and these are good quality breakers too there's a lot of low quality breakers here as well